Hey, pop the trunk, I open up, I saw my soul a good price out of sight. My whole got talent. Hey guys, so today we're gonna mount this socket dust boot on my Ox CNC. Um, this was a gift from Mark from, well, Socket Dust Boot, the man who makes these. And uh, the only thing I did was to mount this piece of uh, plexiglass, acrylic, transparent acrylic, call it what you want. Uh, it comes in two sizes, this one with a bit larger hole, and the one I chose was the little one, because I think this will work fine with my router. It's gonna go up like this, yeah. So, when you first get it, it, uh, it comes, uh, comes pre-assembled, you can say. It comes like this. Uh, the black part here and this one is 3D print. The other one here, I believe, is uh, CNC cut acrylic. Looks very nice. Uh, the black part on this is also 3D print, a very good pre 3D print, I would say. Um, the first one I saw of these he made was actually just acrylic all over, but uh, this design looks very neat. So, uh, to get this mounted you need to take these screws out. Uh, in order to do that we are gonna take off this, put it aside. I'm gonna remove these two screws. So, inside we have this little slider thing. It's also a 3D print. Let's put that aside. In order to make this go on your CNC ox, You need to mount this on these screws. If you choose to buy and mount this while or before you are finishing your machine or building your machine, then you can have no problem using this. You would just have to remember that to put this right here before you put the screws or the bolts in. However, my machine is built. It's actually ready to cut. And um, I would rather not take these off because I have spacers and shims and wheels right here. And uh, on the bottom we have the eccentric nuts which makes it tight. Um, so I wrote to Mark who made this and, uh, and asked him if he was okay with me making a bit of a change to his design. He was okay with that. And uh, this little guy came up. Uh, the same measures, I just took this, measured it, and uh, I made uh, a new version in Fusion 360. The difference with this is this hole in the side gives me the opportunity to just loosen these screws. I could, of course, if I needed to get these screws out, I could take another screw and push it this way, all the way through, mount this, and push it back. But, but I'd rather not have any chance that this one would fall off. So, what this can help me with is I just have to loosen these enough for the screw to go out like this. I can slide this in and I can tighten it again. And it's still flush with the button there. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to mount this right here and the other one on the other side. These two parts are the same, they're just mirrored. So, let's try that. I want to I wanna show you something. The difference with this one I made myself, this dust boot, which also 
has magnetic things to put it on. Um, the difference with this one and this one is that when I mount this, I mount it on directly on the router, which means that it goes on here. And whenever the router goes up and down, this one follows. Um, if I'm just doing a single sheet something, I don't, I don't think this will be a problem to use. But the very good thing about this is that this one, you can slide it off like this. That's one thing, and you can mount it or set it at the exact height you need for the piece you're machining. That means that if this one has to go deeper into the wood or aluminum or what you are cutting at the moment, this one will stay at the same height and you won't have this squished down or uh, moved your router up and down. So. I'm kind of looking forward to this to see how good it works. I think it's going to be great. So back to the disassembly of this. One side finished, kind of. Then these little magnets will be mounted to this. And then when the other side is finished, I can just do like this. Lock, and it will sit right there. Then I would just make it go up and down. Like that. It actually is a very good fit for the height also. This is bottomed out, and that means that I got that much extra to work with that way. And the other way, I don't think I will ever get this high, but still, it's nice to know that the opportunity is there. Yeah. So, I'm going to finish the other side, and uh, we're going to see what it looks like when it's done. So I got both the sides mounted on the ox. Now all we need is to take this one and mount the magnet pieces on the side. Just gonna find out where. Of course it's important that this one goes exactly in the middle so it doesn't go into the plexiglass or get caught in there. We want it just in the middle right there. So I'm gonna mount this. One way to find out where which of these threaded holes I need to use. I'm gonna put the magnet right there. Screw it down a bit and you'll see that if I go up like this and I have to clear this right here. But I guess if I do like this, it's kind of in the middle. Just have to make sure that the that the collet won't interfere with it. I guess it's going all the way. Okay, I'm gonna take something and make a mark. Okay. Let's see, it's 
see. Which I'm not sure that. Well, well, I don't need to make a mark because it's exactly this piece has to line up with this, and this is on my ox. You may have a different kind of mount to your ox, so don't just take my word for it. But this one has to just put on there. Let's see. I'm just gonna say that this is not like I've mounted this before and just taken it apart. I actually haven't cheated at all, so I hope it works. Look at that. Now the interesting part will be if the router will go straight into it. To remove it, I just do like that. And because of this right here, you can just mount it even if it's higher than that, you can mount it with the drill bit in because it will just, of course, go right through this hole in the end. So, yeah. Okay guys, so I finished mounting the socket dust boot. Now all we need to do is test it, do some cutting, find out how good it works. I'm pretty sure that it will work very, very nice. Um, if you need one of these, if you would like to buy one of these, I left a link in the description. There is also a link to the these uh, with the holes. Other than that, I'm sure that Mark already is toying away with making his own version to put in the box when you order this. I'm gonna try this and uh, I'll be right back.
Oh, I almost forgot. If you like this video, remember to subscribe and hit that, hit that thumbs up button. See you next time.